so I'm here with my mom. If you haven't met her, it's Chris. I'm in Kansas City for Christmas. And so there's a designer like outlet store out in Oak Park. So we're gonna go to brunch first because we're hungry. It's Saturday, get like some mimosas, some eggs or something, and find some cute stuff. So that's the plan today. If you're new to my channel, my name is Mallory. I live in New York City, but I'm from Kansas City, so we're in Missouri right now. And I post a lot of thrifting content and fashion stuff. I work in the fashion industry, so if you're interested in those things, make sure to subscribe. You could also follow me on Instagram and TikTok to keep up with my like everyday stuff, like what's going on in real life and um, all that, because things like are delayed on YouTube just because it takes me a while to edit and everything. So um, yeah, check those things out and yeah. And let's have a fun little day. Yay. Okay, bye. All right, we made it to the Rock Hill Grill. We got mimosas. Really cute. Okay friends, so we ended up going to Rock Hill Grill for lunch and I was freezing so I put this sweater on that I brought for like an outfit photo and we were gonna do outfit photos downtown cause we're never down there cause we don't live in like downtown Kansas City and it's 30 degrees and very cold so we're not doing that. So anyway, I changed because I was cold but we are almost to the half of half and I am a little low on energy, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm excited because I know I'm gonna find some good stuff, so that'll be good. But if the energy is low in this video, it's because I'm exhausted. Also, we have mimosas, so I'm a little tips. Just a little bit. Oh no, there's a lot of people. Even if it's Bali. Yeah. And then I found this coat so far. Show this one off. What'd she find? A little coat again? Yeah. I think it looks cute, Mom. Yeah. This place is like a TJ Maxx, but like the hidden gems. The hidden gems, yeah. And it's huge. Look how huge it is. It's so big. We'll be here for a few hours. For INC. Yeah. It's super cute. Super cute dress. Yeah, go backs are the way to go first, so you can see. Cashmere charter club. This looks like INC. Yeah. It's kind of cute. It's folly. I'm not like a Disney girl. I know, but it's cute. This is fancy with the dollar. Yes. We found an entire rack of talentless sweatshirts. They have like stains on them or like a little off from like their matching bottoms and stuff. But separate, they're really cute. And we found so many. Oh my god, it's crazy. I'm like, whoa. Need a new hook. Just add the little hook on it. Yeah. Be pretty cute, I think. Very cute. For a box. Yeah. We're in the back room. It's really cute if you have the right shape for it, but I can't wear that. It's too low. Okay, so there was a screaming child, but these are the pants that I found. They're so cute and plaid and stretchy, like ponty material. Okay, so this one's really cute, but I have to sew it up. But it fits really well. It looks good with this sweater. Mm -hmm. 
we're getting it. Okay, so I forgot to film, but I tried on some talentless pants. And I think I'm gonna go with this one because they, they're like the most similar set. And then this pair, while I really like the tan color, um, two sides are a different shade. You can barely tell, but my mom seems to think they're pretty noticeable. I don't know, I don't think it's that noticeable. But I'm gonna listen to her because she is a smart lady. And then Wild Fox pants, 20 bucks. And I'm gonna try these on too. These are so, so cute, but just like a little bit big. I think I need a size small because these are size medium. But I'm gonna go look at the rack again because I think I saw like tan or something. Yay, we're back from half of half and like our long day of shopping and thrifting and thriving. If you haven't seen last week's video, that's what we did in the morning and then we came home, got ready, went to brunch and then we just went and had a day. We went to the half of half and then we went to the mall to get a few things because I wanted to pick up some tights and then just like random other things. So we did that, but we found so many good things at the half of half. The talentless stuff, I'm like, are you kidding? I'm gonna go through and do like a haul because I didn't show everything in the dressing rooms. Honestly, we were like just trying to get through everything and I didn't have time to like manage it all. So I didn't film everything in the dressing rooms, but I will show you everything that I did get and I'll dress it up and make it look cute and all that good stuff, you know the drill. I love shopping, but like I really just take it too far sometimes. I'm like fully dropped. Like I shopped and now I drop. You know what I mean? I'm going to put on my PJs and like a face mask, take off my makeup and like watch Christmas movies. So yeah, that's the vibe. Okay, so here's that skirt and then my mom just has so many things. She's so crafty. So I have these buttons um, and I put it as a poll on my Instagram. So the poll that won was this brown button and I kind of agree, but I also kind of like this um, button, but I don't know. I think I'm gonna go for the brown one just so that I can wear it with my black boots more. Hmm. Okay, so I just sewed on the button. I decided to go with green as the thread, if it'll focus. And then I need to add, my mom has these little hook and eyes. I don't know if these are called hook and eyes, but they're larger for like pants. So I'm just kind of gonna put it right on here like that and then it'll look really cute. So this is the try on portion haul situation of the half of half video. I really love this place. I got so many good things. I like literally need to buy a new suitcase just to get it all back to New York. So what my plan is, is to just show you everything and then put a picture if I've already worn it because I've worn like a lot of these things already. And then and if I haven't worn it yet, I'll do like a little try on. I got these pants. I've been wearing them so much. I've literally had to wash them twice and I've been here for like a week and a half. So comfortable. I have this, like I think they're the tennis pants in three colors. I had a white pair, but they were like ruined in seconds. But I have now a blue pair and then a gray and a black. And both of them, one of them my mom bought me for Christmas like three years ago for literally a hundred dollars and I got these for 20. So I love these pants, they're so cozy, but they're not really outside pants because they are a little bit see-through, but I, I'm obsessed. They're like the perfect PJ pant. I clearly like this color and I love these. Next, I got another Wild Fox pair. They had a whole rack of Wild Fox, but I, you know, narrowed it down to what I just needed. S needed, you know what I mean? These super cute sweater pants, these were 30. They're also the Wild Fox, they're very similar. They're a bit flattering, but they're more outside pants, so I got them, and I actually wore them in a thrift video coming up soon. They were really comfortable all day, and they just look like kind of chic. I feel like the sweater pant thing is such a good trend, and it's so cozy. Like, it's socially acceptable sweater pants, so I'll show you that outfit. It turned out really well. I really like them. So, 10 out of 10 purchase there. Okay, and then next I got this sweatshirt, which it's an ALMC sweatshirt, which I actually have never heard of that brand, but I just really liked the quality and it just looks so comfy and I love the length because it'll look really good with my leather leggings and then I can just layer necklaces on it throw on a cute jacket and I'm like really warm but look put together and I feel like just like a nice gray sweatshirt is just so easy to throw on and you know you never can have enough sweatshirts and I just love how clean and simple this one was so I believe I need to look at the receipt to be sure but I'm pretty sure it was under $20 so that was really exciting and I've been wearing it a lot as well I'm just like in that wild fox um, pants and this sweatshirt like every day. Next is a little more exciting. I got this skirt. It's high H-Y-F-V-E. Hive? 
Hype, hype, hype. I don't know, here's a tag. So the thing with this one, as you saw before, it had a button that was like missing and the little hook and eye was gone. So I added a little hook and eye and then I decided to go with a green um, stitch and then a brown button. So I think they turned out really, really cute. These were only $12 and regular retail they're 50. So I mean, not like that huge of a discount, but $12 for a really cute wool score which I always am wearing these with tights and boots and stuff um it was just perfect so I'm really glad I got those I'm gonna wear them probably over the weekend and then next I got these plaid pants and they have a little seam down the front so they look really nice and clean I really just like these I have a pair of very similar Topshop ones that I wear like once a week if I'm going in the office in the winter they it's just like wearing leggings so it's just so nice I believe this is a ponty fabric so it's just stretchy and it looks really clean and nice and they're wide leg pants so these are great to wear with just boots and like a sweater and just be cozy and comfortable and instead of putting on you know slacks or jeans or something um on those days that you're just like mm, mm, mm. these are l-y-s-s-e lisse i don't know Let's say um, New York. So they're really comfortable and I'm really glad I got them. So I'm going to check out their website. I actually have never heard of this brand either. How have you learned a lot of different brands um, that you maybe never knew? I found a few cute like boutique ones before and now I shop their website looking at their sales a lot and linking a lot of their stuff because I know the quality is good. But next was like the most exciting one that we got. It's the Talentless set. So there was an entire rack of Talentless. My mom actually picked up a few to resell. I had wanted a talentless like sweatshirt and sweatpants set, but they were like $300 for the two. And I was like, mm, no, I cannot do that. So I'm glad I never bought any because I literally got the cutest sweats. They have like a zipper on the inside. They're so well made and I'm just like really excited. They're so thick and I have a pair of Morgan Stewart sports sweatpants that I wear so much. I like pack them every time I go on a trip. Like I pack them for this even though they take up so much room in my suitcase because they're just so like bulky and nice feeling that I just love them so i got these and then i picked out a sweatshirt to go with it i think the reason that most of these were there is because maybe in like the bulk lots the fabric wasn't dyed perfectly to be matching so a lot of people returned it or something i know that was a problem when i ordered morgan stewart stuff the sweatpants and the sweatshirt did not match perfectly and i was like no i'm returning this even though i love morgan stewart i is a whole thing her stuff was so late but it was the pandemic it's a whole thing but anyway there were also like a few like dye stains or possibly like the stitching like the needle was like off center so the embroidery was a little off so it's not like the thing with half of half is nothing is perfect everything is there because it was returned it was over like produced and they didn't get it out on the floor in time so like no one bought it a lot of macy stuff actually goes there or it had like a factory um a factory damage no defect a factory defect and that's why it ends up there so i believe that's what happened with these but this sweatshirt is so cute it has talentless right here and then on the back in a circle i think it looks so nice i do kind of wish it was a little bit oversized more but i'm not complaining because this total set was 60 dollars versus 300 and it's such great quality i know it'll last a long time so between the two i think i looked out but yeah I really like it 10 out of 10 purchase here i don't know if they would still be there but maybe i mean this was probably a week and a half ago so they might actually still be there but you never know with half of half like some days you go in you get all this i got i've gotten way more there before i feel like the summer is like prime because a lot of revolve returns go there but in the winter it seems to be a lot more like sweaters and coats so if you're not looking for those things you know it's like difficult anyway i got a coat <laughs> speaking of coats I got this sanctuary coat, which we just saw at TJ Maxx this week. So if you're in the Liberty area, they might have one. My friend Bailey like went and swooped one up because she saw I posted on my Instagram like what's going on. I do a lot of kind of when I'm shopping, I'll take a lot of pictures of like what's out there right now so that, you know, if you feel like going shopping or if you're like, I don't know, it just like is kind of fun for me to do. And then I can share just like what's going on on the marketplace. But anyway got this coat it's so cute and metallic it was $40 it's sanctuary originally $220 um no damages it probably was just like a hard seller maybe it was one of those from the sewing room where they decided to go with a different lining color like who's to say it could have been a sample like who knows so 
this is really really cute and i am really glad i got it i've been wearing it a lot it looks really good with like sweatpants just like makes it a little bit more put together and like fun in my opinion so yeah that is everything that i got and that really is like the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i love going to have a path if you're in the kansas city area they also have them in dallas they're not as good though i went to one in dallas and i was like mm. and then i don't know about the kansas side but i know there are some also in kansas and like arkansas so if you're in those like midwestern areas i would check it out but the one in kansas city is a 10 out of 10 it's huge there's like six rooms and i love going there so make sure to check that out and if you're new here and you aren't subscribed yet make sure to do that or if you watch my videos and you aren't subscribed yet make sure to do it you can also turn on your notifications and then you will see like when I post because I'm not like a 100% on a certain time of the day. I'm just not that organized. So make sure to put on the notification so you don't miss a video. I post on Thursdays and Sundays and then my Thursday videos are a little bit shorter and my Sunday videos are like the longer hauls, things like that. So yay, that's everything. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you had a wonderful new year and you're going into 2022 open-minded and excited about the future. I know things are like crazy and life is all up and down, but I'm excited for 2022. I feel like it's gonna be a great year and that's it. Yay. Okay, see you guys in the next one. Bye.